Good morning, guys. Coming at you with another early morning vlog. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I know my vlogs have been kind of short and discombobulated, like not normal, but right now for me it's better to film something like this and easily uploaded than try to film an entire day. So we might get an entire day tomorrow because we're gonna go to the flea market tomorrow. But um anyway, so I um I just woke up like twenty minutes ago having coffee, you know, the normal things. And gonna do a treatment after that and then probably just play my wolf game for a while. Um <clears throat> I I am doing better than I was yesterday when I filmed that yesterday. And that's not to say I'm okay, but I'm getting there. Um, yesterday was just a really, really bad grief day. And um, <clears throat> at around 8.30 last night, I just dozed off from everything. Woke up at 9.30ish or something. No, not even that long. Maybe like 30 minutes. Maybe woke up at like 9. <clears throat> Took my meds, watched Hardy Boys, and then went back to bed. But couldn't sleep till like 12. Um, so don't take a 30 minute nap at 8.30. <laughs> but, um, yeah. I am glad me and my mom discovered the Hardy Boys. It was just kind of a whim show we decided to watch while we were at my sister's house watching Mason. And... It's really interesting. It's only one season, and we have two episodes left, so hopefully they, like, finish the mystery in those two episodes. <laughs> but, um, it's been really, really interesting. So, <clears throat> <coughs> allergies are terrible. But, um, yeah, so just gonna keep on keeping on, um, and after my treatment, I'll, just, I'll probably just play my wolf game or go back to sleep or something. I'm kind of tired, but, um, yeah. So this morning is a little better. These vlogs are less of vlogs and more like another journey through grief that I'm documenting, um, which is just sucky because, you know, that, uh, April 5th will be a year since I lost Panda. So not even a year later, I'm already back in the cycle of grief, but, um, it will, it will improve. Um, just like when I first lost Panda, I thought about, um, I thought about him constantly. I was crying constantly. It hurt more than this one hurts. And, um, all I had in my head was those images of the last day with him, which I'm really glad with Blondie. At least I don't have those images in my head because I have those images in my head from Blaze too, so... It's nice to remember her as she was and not as she ended up being. Um, <clears throat> so, anyway, with Panda, it took me about a month to get over that acute grief phase, like, disabling grief phase. And then it took me a further three or four months to feel semi-okay. So, we'll see what happens with this one. But, um... Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, as I was saying with that, <laughs> was that, um, the, with Panda now almost being a year ago, I don't think about that last day very often. I don't think about that, um, those six hours per se. And if you guys don't know, um, Panda was my dog. He was a Rottweiler Labrador mix. And he died last year, very, very suddenly, of hemangiosarcoma, um, which is cancer of the blood vessels, basically, and his spleen burst. Um, so that was a very traumatic ending for both of us. And um, anyway, so almost a year later, I miss him every day. I still would do anything to have him back, but it's not the same really searing pain that I can literally feel in my heart that I'm feeling right now with losing Blondie. So I know... Hi, Nabila. How are you? So I know that, um, I know that in time, hopefully not a year, it took me about a year with Panda to feel like this, but in time, 
it will improve and that's why I'm throwing all my uh all my resources onto Maddie because she's a lot more people tame than she used to be and it gives me something to do because for a brief brief period of time I was like maybe I don't even want to you know see the horses anymore but that's not me and so um that's why when I feel up to it I throw all my resources on Maddie but um yeah, so I'm just going to keep on keeping on, and if there's anybody out there watching this that's going through the acute phase of grief, whether a person, animal, whatever the circumstances may be, I feel ya. Um, sometimes it can be a very lonely, very uh, difficult thing to do. I mean, it is a difficult thing to do, but sometimes it can be very lonely. It can be very, I think especially when it's an animal that you're grieving, um, sometimes it's just a little bit different, and... and um, society thinks you're expected to move on faster than might be rational. So, yeah. But, we'll do it. We will do it. So, I'm going to drink this before it gets cold. Um, I'm going to do my treatment. Completely forgot about. I was like, after my treatment, I'll play my wolf game. I should probably take Tricapta first. I'm not very hungry this morning, so I'll probably just drink a boost. But I need to do that. And then I'll play a wolf game. I'm playing the... When I say wolf game, if you guys, also if you guys don't know, it's um, it's Wolf Quest Anniversary Edition. And I'm playing on Accurate for the first time. And, oh boy, it's... Uh, let's just hope I can keep my puppies alive. <laughs> and myself alive. Uh, yeah, my wolf almost died of, like, the first hunt, so interesting but <laughs> um so anyway with that thank you guys for coming along on my little uh, ted talk this morning <laughs> and i'll see you guys tomorrow